Hi everyone, welcome to Be Different for Success. Today we'll be talking about how to stop sugar cravings. How often during the day are you plagued by a sugar craving? You're at your desk getting work done when all of a sudden your sweet tooth kicks in. Instead of finishing that report your boss has been hounding you for, you're focused on where you can get a chocolate chip cookie. Sugar cravings come at the worst times and can be really hard to resist, but it is possible. The key is to avoid sweet cravings before they start, and fortunately, there are many ways to do that. Here are 19 nutritionist recommended ways to avoid pulling the trigger for a shot of sugar. Before going deep into every point, I suggest that you subscribe to this channel and use the link to what causes sugar cravings in the description below. Number 1. Keep your meals diverse Make sure you incorporate all food groups when you prepare a meal. I've found that often people crave sugar because of an imbalanced diet as a whole. At meal times, they might be missing out on enough fiber to keep them full, or can be lacking enough protein to keep them satiated or full of enough healthy fats. All the macronutrients work together to keep our blood sugar stabilized and keep us satiated so we need them all. Number 2. Don't skip meals. Skipping meals leads our bodies to need fuel quickly, so we're more likely to grab the first sugary thing we can get our hands on. When you get over hungry, sugary snacks become a quick fix for low blood sugar, so make sure you enjoy three well-balanced meals daily. And if you need a snack, go for one high in fiber and protein. Number 3. Eat a naturally sweet snack. When a craving hits, instead of running for the candy drawer, Try something that will give you fuel. If you need a shot of sugar along with energy that will last longer, try making a trail mix with almonds, dry fruit, and a few dark chocolate chips. This snack is portable and will not only provide that sweetness you crave, but you'll also get protein and healthy fat from the nuts and iron and fiber from the fruit. Number 4. Stay Hydrated Staying hydrated has countless benefits, and here's another one. Drink plenty of water so that you're not mistaking a craving with being thirsty. We often confuse our thirst for hunger, so before you grab the processed snack, drink a bottle of water or a flavored seltzer, then see how you feel. Number 5. Plan Ahead Planning ahead will ensure that you eat something healthy. Having sugar-free treats on hand to quell the craving helps. When you first start your diet, there could be some cravings that strike. But once your body becomes used to the habit, the cravings will become a thing of the past. Number 6. Get Enough Sleep It may seem unrelated, but according to experts, the amount of sleep you get directly correlates with sugar cravings. It's well documented that people who are sleep deprived crave sugary foods. You didn't get a great night's sleep, but you need to be productive the next day. So you lean on caffeine and sugar for a boost. It works in the short term but long-term it leads to a poor diet and potential weight gain. Number 7. Avoid Salty Foods This may sound silly because salt and sugar are total opposites, but eating lots of salty foods can bring on sugar cravings. Salt is great for seasoning, but avoid the super salty foods. They can trigger a craving for sweet foods, which is often why dinners out often lead to wanting to head straight to the dessert menu. Season food with other spices before heading to the salt. Number 8. Eat protein and fiber at each meal. We all know how important protein is to our diet, but making sure we have enough at each meal is also helpful for staving off sugar cravings. Eat protein and fiber at every meal. This is the most important tool you could have on your plate. Both protein and fiber help to slow down the absorption of sugar, preventing any blood sugar spikes, which would make you crave more sugar. Plus, they help keep you feel fuller longer, leaving you more in control over your food choices and less likely to dive into that cupcake. Number 9. Give in to your craving, then move on. If a craving for something sweet like a piece of chocolate or a scoop of ice cream persists, just have it. Trying to satisfy cravings with other healthier foods or restricting yourself from having a food you're craving often leads to overeating. 
As it is often said, the forbidden fruit tastes the sweetest. So eat your piece of cake, don't feel bad, and just move on. Number 10. Break the Habit At times, cravings can be so strong that you may think your body needs the sugar. Sugar cravings are often a conditioned response, an ingrained habit for you to have a piece of chocolate or something sweet after a meal, so your body will start demanding it. The craving can also be an emotional demand. Maybe you're stressed, sad, or anxious, so you think you need chocolate to feel better. Instead of thinking of it as something you need, think of sugar as something you want but are going to try and avoid. Number 11. Ask yourself if you're eating your emotions. Understanding why you are craving sugar can be a major clue to help you overcome it. Cravings can be triggered by emotions, behaviors, or nutrient deficiencies. The next time you're absolutely craving ice cream, ask yourself, is it pure boredom? Am I feeling happy, sad, stressed? Asking these questions and trying to get to the bottom of why you're having these cravings can help you overcome the feeling in the future. Number 12. Keep Meals Regularly Scheduled Have regularly scheduled meals. The worst thing you can do is let yourself get so hungry that you lose all control over your next food choice. Having meals or snacks every four hours helps to stabilize your blood sugar levels and keeps you satisfied and in control until your next meal. Losing control during a craving is one of the top reasons people give in to them. Number 13. Enjoy a piece of fruit. I don't know if it is possible to eradicate sugar cravings because they're part of being human, but I do think that nature gave us fruit for a reason. It's naturally sweet and loaded with fiber to help us feel full. It also delivers a host of benefits, including antioxidants that help our bodies and skin stay young and healthy. Training your body to crave fruit instead of processed sugar will be beneficial to your overall health. Number 14. Carry around sugar-free candies When a sugar craving hits, try tricking your mind with a sweet snack, but not a sugary one. Having sugar-free snacks on hand ensures you don't slip up and grab something you'll regret. Sugar cravings can be hard to fight in the beginning, but sugar-free candies will trick your mind into thinking it's getting the sweetness it craves. Number 15. Follow the 85-15 rule. Make sure 85% of your meals include innately healthy foods like fresh produce, lean protein, and healthy fats. The other 15% can include some treats. If you make certain foods forbidden, then you just crave them even more. And truthfully, I don't think there is a need to give up sugar entirely. A little treat here and there never hurts. Number 16. Eat foods that take longer to digest. Sugar cravings can mean you're eating foods that aren't fulfilling. We know that both fiber and healthy fats take longer for our bodies to digest, and protein also works to keep us satiated. When all are combined, they can help curb sugar cravings later in the day or post-meal. Number 17. Surf the Urge Many people think their cravings just get bigger and bigger until they give in to them. But this isn't the case. Instead, envision your sugar craving like a wave. It will get bigger and stronger, but it will also eventually subside and dissipate just like a wave. This is also a technique used for people trying to quit smoking. Number 18. Give your mouth something to do. Another great way to stave off sugar cravings is to give your mouth another distraction. Whether it's chewing sugar-free gum, drinking a cup of warm herbal tea, or just doing something else, allow the craving to pass. Allow enough time to pass while you drink or wait for the piping hot tea for you to think through the craving. Most cravings last no longer than 30 minutes. Number 19. Eat a protein-packed breakfast While intermittent fasting works for some people, it might not be a good idea for someone with a sugar problem. Skipping breakfast can lead to sugar cravings. Eat a breakfast that's protein-based with healthy fats. Because your body's first choice for fuel is sugar, if you skip your first meal of the day, 
you're going to crave the energy you need. I recommend eating two or three hard-boiled eggs with some leafy greens, EVOO and lemon, and a handful of raspberries or blueberries for breakfast. Also, I suggest that you watch our video regarding 16 foods that can stop sugar craving. You can find the link in the description below. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please click the thumbs up and write your personal tips in the comments below. Thank you for your support. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to hear more from us. See you in the next video.